Hello, I'm Ben Thompson. Now today we're going to talk about a very important topic. And I want you to get a piece of paper, a pen or pencil, and pay attention to, to what we're going to talk about today. Because we're going to talk about food storage. And it's something that is very, very important, especially with the crisis that is coming upon us. And so, this is our first food storage video. We will do another one next time that is more in-depth and complex. But today, I want to go over a few basic things and help you to create your own plan. And this plan that I'm first going to give you is based on years of experience and it is based on a plan that is good for people who are lower income and also uh, lack of time. So let's go ahead and get started. The, f the very f first thing that you need to understand about food storage is that if you do it all at once it's going to be expensive and that's not a good thing. The plan I'm going to present to you today is going to not be a lot of money and but will require time now I the there's so many different things to store let's talk about what is the most important thing to store and to be honest I believe that is lentils and there's several different reasons f for that now, number one they're cheap number two they're easily accessible number three uh, insects do not go after them and number four they they store better than other grains now where can you can buy lentils you can buy them practically at any uh, grocery store in Alameda County now here's a a bag of lentils that I got from grocery outlet down the street from my house. I bought this as a demonstration. I would personally suggest going after the five the five pound bags that are bigger because that's just easier. Now, this is a one pound bag, and the goal is is to fill up a, a five gallon bucket, or the, I think it's four gallon actually. No, five gallon. Five gallon bucket that you can get at a Home Depot. And believe it or not, these are it's a lot easier to store because it's lentils. Now in in in, uh, in my in my uh, research and in my own opinion, a person can eat uh, cooked lentils of one cup a day. So we're going to s imagine or we're going to make our calculation based off of that. Got a measuring for one cup here. One cup.
So there we got We got two and a half cups. That's about three days. This is about three days worth of food right here if you just eat little lentils. Now this cost me like a dollar. A five pound bag will cost you like five dollars. So Let's work under the assumption that we can afford um, five dollars every week, and I know I could do that. Um, so we got, so we have this one. This one pound is enough for three days, basically. So if we have a five-pound bag, that's fifteen days. So. That would mean that you need 10 pounds for one month supply for uh, one adult. Now, the end goal is we want to have a year supply of food. And the reason for that is because that will give you a year once the famine comes into play and the famine will probably take about a year to go through now in order to calculate the food storage you need you need to count how many people in your family now children do not need as much uh, food as adults and Teenagers may, especially men, uh, young men growing in their teenage years, might actually require more food than um, than an adult. So you have to take all those things into into factor. But if honestly, I treat little kids as adults. In food, in food storage terms because they're going to grow up and it just provides more food as a, as a whole so it'll be on average of 30 day months you know some have 31 but some have less so it'll, I'm sure it'll even out better you will need you can go to the store twice a month and get a five pound bag that'll be about five dollars so that's ten dollars a month for ten pounds of food of uh, lentils now in the end you're going to want 120 pounds of lentils That'll be an, enough for the whole year for one adult. So, I now I know some arguments that this is because I've I've been talking about this for years, and so I know all the arguments that you're probably thinking. And the biggest one is, I don't have space. Well. There's so many different ways to, to, to keep food, food storage in the home. You can find a, a, an empty wall and stack buckets up. You can... I don't, I don't actually remember how many pounds I have in here. But I believe this, I think this is actually about like between 40 between 40 and 60 pounds, so this could conceivably carry a, f a fourth or a half of what I need. That's two buckets for, for one adult for a year. And you know what? 
space is not that important in your home. You need this. If you have to get rid of some less important stuff, then do it. If you if you can't find a blank wall or an empty space or 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 space under the bed or or a a table, then you got you got too much stuff. This is more important. We want every house in Alameda County to have the food storage. And if we don't have that, then what we're going to have is a bunch of riots on our hand. Another argument, of course, is the money issue. You In a, in a year, you can afford $120. I don't care who you are. As long as you have a job, you can afford that. You can afford five dollars every two weeks. You can afford ten dollars a month. And if you really can't, then you got problems. You need to learn how to make a budget better. So yeah, those are the, the two primary means, two primary arguments I've always encountered: money and space. Space ain't that important. You need this more and more. You can afford ten dollars a month. Now, as soon as you get enough, to be honest, I would I would spend more. I would I would do like twenty dollars a month. I speak from experience. Especially because if you have the more people you have, the more you have to worry about. If you are, are worried about children, consider half a cup a day for children. So that would be uh, 30 pounds for two months. But I would I, I, I like the extra, the extra security to have uh, to have more. Now, another another good thing about lentils that I forgot to mention is that they cook really easy. And see, rice, rice, white rice tends to spoil. Uh, it's hard to cook. You don't want to waste time and resources on cooking. But lentils cook in about twenty minutes, whether it's covered or not. So really the only problem is water. Now water is an issue. You cannot store enough water and that's just a fact. Um, I like to to have a, a month's worth but that's because I don't have anybody else to work to worry about and about you need about a gallon a day they say. So that would be 30 gallons. I keep 30 gallons. You, if unless you have a, a big home and lots of space, you just won't be able to do that for your family. So I try to focus. Would I would start with a week? If you can do a week, that'd be a lot better than no, than nothing. And you can you can go down to Walmart and buy five gallon uh, jugs. If you can, if you can do, if you can start with a week supply for your family, with one gallon per person, that'd be a lot better. But unless you have huge amounts of, of space, which I, I know you don't, because if you're if you're not willing to do this, then you're not willing to do water. But there is a th something that we needed to talk about with water. And that is that Alameda County ha does have water systems. Now, under normal circumstances, I would never go to a to one of Alameda County's water uh, systems, like the Alameda Creek. You got lakes around here, ponds. Under normal circumstances, I would never go to that. But if you are in a situation where you need that. You 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 are willing to to take that water. Then, 
and that that's that's what it is. That's that's what it's there for. I wish it was clean. I know it's not. I have no doubt that it's polluted with chemicals and stuff like that. But there are there are times when you have no other choice. It's because you're gonna you're gonna without water you you won't be able to to to, to make it. And so, but, but there are ways to 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 make it cleaner. Um, you can take a a a cloth and and filter it through a cloth. That'll get out the big stuff. Uh, boil the water, and if if uh, you can, uh, there there may be lots of. Uh, charcoal available due to fires. Take take burnt wood. Do not use charcoal briquettes. I repeat, do not use charcoal briquettes. They usually have a toxin in them and makes it useless. But what you can do is take the burnt wood and break it down into like as much of the powder you can and uh soak it and put it in, in your drinking water and then um, um, filter it through a cloth again that will that should take out some of the of the un, uh, unwelcome toxins one of the, the things the human mind can't deal with is too, too many horrible stuff because you don't think that it, you don't want to think about it, but I hope that you will overcome that and think about it because that that's that's what we need to talk about. Because in my in my personal opinion, I I give this this, this the need for this stuff in no no less than four years, and if everybody in Alameda County. Every family had this. It would greatly help us because as soon as the food lines shut down, you're gonna have riots, and you you're going to need uh, instruments to to protect your your family and your your food storage from from uh, mobs, and that is as you will need firearms. And it is okay to protect you and your family. You're you're not gonna think. You may think now I, I can just I, I can share. No, you're not gonna be able to share this. There's gonna be too many people because I know most people aren't going to do this. But I'm bringing you this 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 message, in the hope that you will will uh, will do this so that this does not happen to you. That you do not get caught up in riots. And people trying to kill each other to get food because they were not smart enough to prepare. Uh, please, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and check back because we're going to talk more about food storage. Like I said, this is just a basic plan that can be done quickly because it's so cheap and effect and and space efficient. But if you do this, you'll be you'll be you'll be fine. Uh, if you have the money and resources, we're going to talk about other things you can do that'll uh, make life more comfortable. But this is the basic that you should start with. Thank you, and have a good day.